I, I never thought about being the end of my wrestling career because, you know, you only end your wrestling career if you get hurt or you want to end it yourself. Can't nobody end your career too much out there. Too many of the indie mm-hmm. circuits. Now, let me tell you, this is what I thought. When I went to, I knew I could go to w, WWE in a time because I, I saw people going over there. I had word that they, that Vince McMahon really liked my character. So I knew I could do that. But you know what, man? Let me tell you. So I had a boatload of money. My God, though, I had a, a, a 12-year-old son and a 2-year-old daughter, and I was like, okay, do I want to go back? I had just finished coming off the road the year before, 280 days a year. So, man, man I was ready for a vacation, a two-year-long vacation. That, you know, when that came, they said, you can go right now or you can just stay home and collect your money. I said, I'm staying home, collect my money. I was a stay-home dad. I got to take my son to all his basketball games, take my daughter to school every every day for about two or three years. And that's why people didn't hear from me because that's what I was doing. I was staying home, taking my kids, you know, taking care of the home and taking my kids in and out, you know, doing things with them. And, and I'm telling you, that was the best three years to four years of my life right there, being able to just stay home and take care of my kids. But then when I went to WWE, right? Right. After I went to WWE, and I went through that two to three years, once I left there, people asked me, what did you do then? Because, you know, I left WWE because they said they couldn't write for me, which I thought was a little strange. How can you not write for somebody that, like me, I could do so many things. Vince McMahon used to tell me that every day. Every time you see me, you're talented, man. I'm a fan. You can, you got so many things you want to do. All we had to do is give you a mic and let you go. But, you know, when I, uh, when I got there, I saw it was a little different, and they were doing some different things, and uh, – you know, they gave me an opportunity that I was happy. You know, I still appreciate them giving me an opportunity being able to work with WWE. But when I left wrestling, you know, I, I didn't realize at the time, but I wasn't thinking about wrestling. I was thinking about going right back into karate, teaching, building my business and school. And so for the first two to three years, or maybe a little longer, I didn't even do indie shows. I would get in calls from, like, Dubai or, or Germany. I was getting calls from all over the world. Hey, can you do this show? And we didn't even have social media then, so they didn't really know how to contact you they, unless they went through somebody else. You know, so, you know, at that moment, about the three years or four years, I, I did nothing with, with wrestling. It was all karate. I was good at it, you know, but it just wasn't my time. And this is what they said at the time. They wanted me to wrestle, but I, I don't know. I didn't understand at that time. I understand what they were talking about. They wanted me to go and develop myself and then come right back. That's what they told me. We want you, if you want to be a wrestler, go develop yourself. Go and travel in the circuit. You're going to make a lot of money, Cap, because and we'll come back and get you, which I, you know, but I didn't know the business. So, you know, in the NFL, when I tried out for Atlanta Falcons, when they release you and let you go, they ain't thinking about coming back to get you when you go play in a couple other games. It was just over. But with wrestling, it was totally different. They actually told me, so, you know, go hit the indie circuit and, and, and get established your character and then come back here. And, you know, and, and but me, I failed, to, I failed to understand that with me being so new to the business. I just said, you know what, I'm going to go back to karate. And I'm going to tell you this right there. Lately, I've been doing indie shows, and, and for some reason, I got the itch to be back in the ring. I've been doing – and each time I do something, do a show, I forget how good I was. I know that sounds kind of arrogant, but it is. I forget how – because, you know, I did a show, I think, in, um, in uh, Chicago. And the guy gave me the mic. And when he gave me the mic, some of the crowd knew me. A lot of them were real little kids. By the time I got off the mic, the whole crowd were with me. You know, the whole crowd were with me. 
And I said to myself, well, I'm like, damn, I'm good. <laughs> that is great. You had them. You had them in your hands. It's great. I, I did a show. Did a show last week in Huntsville, Alabama, and it was it was equally su- surprising because I was going to be the baby phase. And you know, th- this is a show they run at least once a month, and they've been doing it for years. So you know, they got the little main characters and main wrestlers who come there. So the first the first person go out, the crowd pop for them. They come back, and I was the main event. So, in between matches, they would say, "Hey, we know you people came to see Ernest Miller, and you didn't hear nobody in the crowd." I heard one little girl said, "Not me." <laughs> <laughs> so, so the next person come out. The next person come out. So when that came to my match, they called my name. It was quiet. They called my name. I went through the curtain. By the time I hit the ring and saw doing my stuff. The whole, let me tell you something. When the match was over, I had every kid in pair right there at the door trying to take pictures with me. I told my wife, who had first seen me for the first time wrestle, she was like, man, they didn't even act like they knew you were, but then at the end, they were all over you. I said, that's what you do when you're a pro wrestler. You take what you want. You gain the respect by putting in a good, entertaining show. You know how to entertain people. That's all they want to be, entertained. 